All right, what I wanted to show you here was I have a uh, Synology Cube Station CS407. This is the standard version. And I had one hard drive crash, and then I had uh, maybe a loose cable in there which caused the RAID 5 volume to fail. Thus, I had some data that I had lost or couldn't get access to. Um, four hard drives running in RAID 5, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I came in here, I labeled my hard drives and uh, in order so I knew which one they were. They are connected to uh, RAID on this motherboard here. And uh, I'm sorry, into the serial ATA. I pulled out the drives and to recover the data I hooked them into my motherboard on my computer, of which I have uh, four serial drive connections. Now the issue I have there is um, I have three drives that are functioning and one hard drive that runs my motherboard. So I connected them to the existing power I had and the data and hooked up drive number two via uh, internal SATA. Drive number three, which is right here, is hooked up to another internal SATA and power. And then I had an eSATA connection, so I hooked up drive via an external hard drive enclosure I have. But now the problem I have then is I have a hard drive. Um, I have my three RAID drives here, but then I have no way to transfer data to my existing hard drive unless I have enough room, and I only had a five gig, 500 gigabyte hard drive in my computer. So I have a spare data drive, which is one gig of space, that I hooked in via a USB cable kit, which has an external power supply plugged into the drive, as well as a USB cable that then connects to the eSATA. Um, I had this other hard drive, which was drive number four, which actually failed. Um, I tried hooking it up just to check to see if it worked by the same method, but it had uh, start was ticking, so I assume there was a hardware failure to that. Um, the kit I got was off of Amazon. I think it was about seven bucks, so I bought two of them because it seemed pretty cheap to be able to try to recover my data. Um, I'm going to show on the screen here uh, the program that I'm using to recover the data, which is uh, NAS Data Recovery by Runtime.org. And one thing that's very important is you have to run this as the administrator, or you won't see your drives. Um, something to take a look at as well is to right click onto your computer and go to manage and this will verify the drives are hooked up and running on Windows make sure you hook up your drives your hard drives with the power off on your computer and then when you start up Windows you'll be able to um, run the now I have already built my RAID and when I start this program uh, oh, okay let's go back disk manage and then you click on disk management once you manage stuff and then this is where you can see it's uh, building the virtual disk space here In just a second it's going to show me all my uh, drives and the partitions that they have So here it shows all the, the simple volumes, but if we enlarge this, you can see down here, this is my main drive, disk zero. It's on the SATA one port, SATA two port has one of the RAIDs, and you can see it's got partitions, and they're all pretty much the same as disk two, which is on the, uh, this, this disk one is on the second SATA port, disk two is on the third, uh, SATA port and disk 3 is on the fourth data port and then disk 4 
is actually the U first USB port, and that's a uh, that's my data drive. And if you look at disk uh, one, two, and three, they're pretty much the same, except for disk two has a little bit of free space um, that's unallocated. That at least shows you what's what's available and what's there. Now, if we go back to uh, the runtime software, it'll show you four disks, or it'll show you the the four drives, and you have to select three of them, and then you select the one that's missing to build your RAID. Um, and then you click finish, and when you click finish, um, it's actually going to go through a whole bunch of stuff that builds the RAID. Um, and then once you're done, though, it's going to show you all your data from your Synology NAS. And presently, I am copying over a whole slew of music, but I've been able to copy a lot of the data. Some of the data was corrupted. That was probably based on the failed hard drive trying to write at the wrong time. And those data, that data can show up as hidden or um, grayed out when you're uh, copying over. The biggest deal is while you can get most of your data, you might not be able to get everything. There's also some um, in the runtime software, if there's something that's corrupt, it'll ask you if you want to copy it over. There's an error. And there's uh, quit, I believe is the option, ignore or all. And the trick is the all is actually ignore all. So I hope this somehow will help you recover data from your NAS server if you get a broken volume, a crashed volume. Uh, this is based on runtime software on a Synology surf, server, uh, NAS server. Um, apparently, it works with Buffalo and a few other ones that use EXT2 or EXT3 partitions.